welcome. This is the Daily News on Rema TV. I am Leo Luigi. For our headline, police record 111 defilement cases in three months in Lagos. Flood alert from Nima. 14 states may experience heavy rainfall soon. PSG goalkeeper Rico out of intensive care after accident. Lokash cheeses on the beast single featuring Young John. Let's take a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back, the news in full. The Nigeria Police Labor State Command says that it has recorded 111 defilement cases between April and June 2023. With command spokesperson SP Benjamin Dane confirmed this to the news agency of Nigeria earlier today. Dane said that the command was concerned about the increasing number of defilement cases in the state. He said within the same period, 14 rape cases and 56 cases of domestic violence were reported. The police image maker said 99 suspects were charged to court within the period. He further said that 83 cases were currently under investigation showing the command's commitment to prosecuting any domestic and gender-based violence in legal state. Then he said that the remodeling of the command's gender units by CP Idu Uruwa was an indication of his commitment to deal decisively with gender-based violence culprits. He also said that more officers have been trained and added to the unit with a view to improving investigations on gender-based violence cases. The National Emergency Management Agency has listed 31 communities in 14 states that may witness heavy rainfall, which may lead to flooding from July 4th to 8th. This is contained in a statement signed by Mr. Ibrahim Fani Louis, the Territorial Coordinator Neymar Lagos Territorial Office. Finally, we urge relevant stakeholders within the state's concerned to take precautionary measures to forestall the loss of lives and properties. The enlisted states, according to Neymar, include Plateau, Kano, Sokoto, Delta, Kaduna, Akwaibom, Adamawa, Katsina, Kebi, Zamfara, Bono State, Jigawa, Kwara, and Niger State. Finally, thanks to the Flood Early Warning System Central Hub of the Federal Ministry of Environment, Abuja, for sharing the information. On sports, earlier today, a hospital report confirmed that Paris Saint Germain goalkeeper Sergio Rico is out of intensive care as he continues his recovery from a traumatic brain injury. The 29 year old will continue to receive treatment at the Berlin Doro Steel Hospital in Seville when he was admitted on May 28th after an accident involving a horse at a local festival. The report sent to the media by the hospital says, Sergio Rico has been discharged from the ICU, where he was under close surveillance and monitoring during the five weeks he has been cared for by the intensive care team along with other specialists. End of quote. Rico had been in a coma, but hospital sources told AFP last week that he was conscious and communicating again. The goalkeeper won the European League twice with his hometown club Sevilla and joined Paris Saint-Germain permanently in 2020 after a loan spell there. On entertainment, street pop maestro Lil Cash is teaming up with Young John for a new single. Lil Cash is one of the artists that propels street music in Afrobeat's three catchy music that combines street related lyrics and party starting beats for timeless hit records. After making his comeback with a series of impressive records, Lil Cash is set to continue his momentum as he teases an unreleased single titled Feeling Funny with long-term associate Young John. The single packs a catchy beat that carries Lokesh's family flows and Young John's sad melodies that have made him into a star. That's it on the news update. Do follow us for more on our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Official Remo TV. You can also visit our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I am Neil Muji. Bye for now.